Hi everyone and welcome to another Victoria 3 modding lesson on the Iron Workshop. In this lesson we'll learn how to change the color of any country in the world map in Victoria 3. Let's get started. Our first step is to create a new mod in Victoria 3. Now I have a separate lesson for that in case you don't know how to do that. So go ahead and check that lesson and then come back to step number two. In step number two, we will be creating our folder and file structure, copying the relevant files uh, to be used in our mod. In step number three, we will be defining our new color in the game. <clears throat> and in step number four, we will apply our new color to the country that we want to change. And of course, the last step is to test our new color in game and make sure that everything works. All right, so let's get started onwards to step number two, creating folder and file structure. All right, so after we've created our new mod, we can start copying the relevant files uh, to our newly created mod from the base game. So I'm going to open two folders here. The first folder is going to be the folder of my mod, and that one can be located in Documents, Paradox Interactive, Victoria 3, Mod. And the second folder that I'm going to open is the root or the base game folder for Victoria 3. Now to locate that one, you can open Steam, click on your library, right click on Victoria 3, go to Properties, then go to Local Files, Browse, and that will open the location of Victoria 3 on your computer and we're going to go into the game folder and from this folder we'll be copying a few files and folders. So first of all I will go into the folder of my newly created mod. Now I've called my mod the new country colors mod but obviously your name might be a bit different. So we'll open this one and in here we'll start copying some of these folders. So the first folder that we're going to need is the common folder. So let's go ahead and recreate this folder in our mod, just like that, great. Now inside the common folder, we need a folder called country definition. So let's go ahead and find that one. Here we are, country definitions. So I'm going to copy the name of this folder and put it inside the common folder of my mod, country definitions, excellent. Now it is possible that if you are creating a custom country, then you might have different files in here. Just make sure to grab the right file. But we're going to stick with this one since uh, this file contains an entry for Prussia. All right, so we have our country's file in here. Great, now let's create another folder inside of the common folder. The next folder that we will need is called named colors. So let's go ahead and find that in Victoria 3. I'm going to press N on my keyboard to make it easier to find. There we are, named colors. So I'm just going to recreate this folder in here as well. Now in this folder, I will copy the country colors file that exists in Victoria 3. And I'm going to put it inside of my named colors folder. And now I'm going to rename this file because I don't want to be overriding the country colors file and that will make things much easier uh, when it comes to updates and fixes that the game might receive from Paradox because then you don't need to go and make changes to files that already exist in the vanilla game and your mod might be overriding and causing some errors you have separate independent files that make things much easier and flexible so I'm going to rename this file to new colors just like that. Excellent. So we are actually done creating our folder and file structure. I'm going to close this. I'm going to minimize this. And now we will be moving to step number three, creating our new color definition. All right. So the next thing that we are going to do is to create our new color definition, basically telling the game what color I want to be shown for the country that I'm going to change my color for. So we are going to do a couple of things with the files that we moved from the base game. First of all, let's open our named colors folder. We'll open our new colors file and I'm going to open it in Notepad++. Now, if you don't have Notepad++, I do have a link to that in the description of this video. So make sure to download it and use that to edit these files. 
Now, uh, as you can see here, we have entries that already exist for the base game, right? And quite honestly, I don't want to be overriding these. Uh, I want them to stay, but I just want to add my own unique color. So what I'm going to do is to just remove all the entries except for the last one, this one, the Communist China Red. I'm going to remove all of these other ones so that it looks like this. Excellent. So now we can actually put the color for our country. And of course, what I'm going to do here is to recreate the yellow Prussia that we all loved in Victoria too. So I'm going to call this color a new yellow Prussia color. Great. Now in here it says RGB and then there are some weird numbers. So this is the color code that tells the game which color to display. And in this case, it's an RGB color. So how can you tell which numbers to put in here to, to, to have that yellow Prussia color? In order to find the code for our new color, we're going to be using something called paint.net. It is a free software that you can use in order to do some basic changes to graphics and of course to locate colors. I will have a link to the download of paint.net in the description of this video. So go ahead and grab it if you need it. If you have some kind of other graphic software program that you want to use, that is fine. Uh, obviously the RGB codes are going to be uh, the same. All right, so let's open paint.net. And once you open it, you will see that you have this color wheel here on the left. So I'm just going to click on the more button in here. And then you can see that as I go through these colors, the values here change. And I have values for RGB and I have uh, values for HSV. So in this case, we're going to need an RGB color. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to place this here on yellow. This should be a yellow that I like. Maybe let's make it a little bit more 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 like this excellent and now i need these rgb values so the first one is red green and blue so my red is 255 so i'm just going to replace it here and type the following 255 space my next code is 233 so let's go ahead and type that and my next color is one two and four so space, one, two, four. Great, so now the game knows that new yellow Prussia color is the code of this color, right? And this is the color that it should display. Excellent. So that's it. We're basically done creating our new color. And of course, if you want, you can create a lot of new colors in here. You can actually use the base game colors as well. You don't have to create your new colors. But in case you're going for something unique, then you will definitely need to create your own and define your own color. All right, so we can now move to step number four, applying our new color to our country. All right, so now that we have our new color created, we need to apply it to our new country. So I'm going to open my mod. I'm going to go into the common folder, country definitions, and let's open this country's file. Now I want to apply this color to Prussia. So I'm going to search for the tag of Prussia. I'm going to press Ctrl plus F and type the tag, the three letter identification of Prussia, which is PRU. All right, so there we have it. This is the color that's currently defined for Prussia. And this is actually very flexible. Uh, I could actually type the RGB code directly in here instead of defining the color and then just putting it in here. But defining the color gives you a few advantages. It means that you can recreate the color without having to remember the, R the exact RGB code, right? And it is also something that can help in the future in case you want to dynamically change the color in the game. Let's say when a country forms another country, you may want to change the color, right? So then you can use this code and tell the game, okay, now I want my country color to be new yellow Prussia color. And that makes things much more clear. So that is why we went through that step. So if you want, you can just copy this RGB value, these three numbers, and just type them in here and that will work fine. Or if you want to use the name for our new color, then you just need to copy it 
you need to remove these brackets and then just assign the color by pasting the name of your new color. So now the game knows that Prussia needs to use the color that's called new yellow Prussia color. And then it goes to the new colors folder, uh, sorry, the new colors uh, file and locates the RGB value to use. All right, so let's just make sure to save this file. And we are basically done with step number four, applying our new color. Now let's go into the game and test and make sure that it works. All right, so let's test our new color in the game. So I'm going to start Victoria 3 through the Steam launcher. I'm going to make sure that my mod is available and that it's applied. So I'm going to go to add more mods. I'm going to use the new country colors mod, add to playset and make sure that it's enabled. Great, so now let's start the game and see what we get. All right, so as we can see, Prussia now has the, well, arguably sexy yellow color that it had in Victoria 3, that it had in Victoria 2 on launch. And now we have our yellow Prussia. So congrats, this is all you need to know about changing country colors in Victoria 3. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a like so that others can see it as well. Subscribe to the channel to see more modding videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.